It's time to do some shopping at Whole Foods, my friends. And what I love about Whole Foods is that people think it can be expensive, but if you know how to shop the sales, like we're gonna do right now, you can get really good deals. And I've compared Whole Foods sale prices, sometimes to Walmart and Aldi, and they're better at Whole Foods. And even better, the sales right now are fantastic. We're talking about snacks, some back to school items, some cheese, some frozen items, really good deals on Bobby approved items. Less talking, more shopping, let's go. It's always a good day when snacks are on sale. And how about snacks that are actually tied into back to school because best in class popcorn here by Lesser Evil in the snack pack form is on sale. This is 467, which is a big discount. Why is this good? Because pick up any other popcorn. This is very, very popular. Nine times out of 10, what is the popcorn or the chip cooked in? Sunflower oil or sunflower, safflower, canola. Why? Why do most people do anything in life? Because of money, sunflower oil and seed oils are cheap. What is this one cooked in right here? Virgin coconut oil, best in class anti-inflammatory oil. And kudos to them because the salt is not just table salt, it's Himalayan pink salt. What's the price right now? Wow, look at that. $6.99 for the sunflower one, $4.67 for the coconut oil one. That's fantastic. I did spy out of my eye. One of the best new chips or puffs on the market, this. If you haven't tried the new Siete Puffs, these are made of lentils. They're not on sale, but they're worth the mention. This is a dairy-free queso puff, my friends. It's lentil-based with best-in-class ingredients cooked in avocado oil and the no-cheese cheese flavor doesn't have natural flavors, doesn't have yeast extract. It has real flavors like serrano powder, date powder, garlic powder, mushroom powder. These are yummo. If you see these at your uh, grocery store, grab them. And last but certainly not least, tortilla chips in the snack pack form. Who remembers Billy Madison? I love my snack pack. Well, you get best in class tortilla chips. What do I mean by best in class? I mean, cooked in avocado oil. Once again, pick up any premium looking, here we go, organic tortilla chips cooked in sunflower or safflower oil, whichever one's cheaper that means here. These are cooked in avocado oil. Also, they're grain free. There's no corn in here. They have cassava flour. They have coconut flour and ch 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 chia, and they're on sale. You get a big pack for $6.65. So in the snack aisle, there's new items, there's items on sale, and they're all Bobby approved. Peanut butter jelly time, peanut butter jelly. We got amazing deals on peanut butter jelly and a maple syrup over there. This is really cool because there's a couple peanut butters on sale. One is Bobby approved, one is not. This looks like a premium peanut butter. It's on sale right here. But peanut butter should be one or two ingredients, peanuts and or peanuts and salt. Then why do I ask you is palm oil in here? I'll tell you why, because it emulsifies it and makes it so the oil doesn't separate on top. The problem is, I talk about this all the time, palm oil number one is bad for the uh, environment and bad for the palm trees. It's really bad for us because it's a processed inflammatory oil. So this is the one that's on sale that's Bobby approved. See that separation up there? Sometimes separation is a good thing because when you make peanut butter, it's 100% normal to have the fat come to the top and separate from the nuts. And this is just peanuts. That's it. That's what you want. And be careful because this one's on sale too. I'm going to give you a pro tip when it comes to nut butters. When you see the word no stir or spread, no stir and spread is always code word for palm oil here. Don't fall for it. I know it's so hard to stick our fork or knife in there and stir up the oil. You don't want this stuff. And actually, spoiler alert, we have a um, reel and a video coming up saying how much sugar is in your kid's peanut butter and jelly. Spoiler alert, 23 grams of added sugar for the not so healthy one versus the Bobby approved one is seven grams of added sugar coming from fruit juice concentrate. And for that video, if you come behind the pole here, we used one of the two Bobby approved jams. Now, this is your typical jam here. It looks healthy, it looks like it's from a farm. It has 12 grams of added sugar per tablespoon, which is hilarious because 12 grams is three teaspoons. Three teaspoons is a tablespoon. So a tablespoon of jam, a tablespoon of sugar. That's cray cray. So we put that one back and we get something like this. Crofters Organic, just the fruit spread 
bonus points for being organic because berries like raspberries, strawberries are in the dirty dozen. But 12 grams of sugar versus five grams of sugar. But that sugar isn't cane sugar, it's organic fruit juice concentrate, a good natural form of sugar. This one from Italy has that too, but it's not on sale. I've never, repeat, never, ever, 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 ever seen it that low. 296? Holy cow, this is what I use to make Rosie's like almond butter and um, peanut butter jelly sandwiches, stuff like that. This is an amazing deal. Pair it with a Bobby approved nut butter, you're good to go. And then Leilani and I will switch around here. This is one of the only Bobby approved flavored maple syrups on the market, Crown is a maple farm in upstate New York. They make amazing bourbon barrel aged maple syrup. You'll see that sometimes at Costco. They make strawberry and blueberry maple syrup. I fully expected when I first uh, saw it to see natural flavors. Homie, don't play that game. Organic strawberry concentrate, organic blueberry juice concentrate. Wow, and the flavor is fantastic. You make some uh, pancakes or waffies, you pour that over, Still pricey, but at $8.99, it's basically cheaper than regular maple syrup. Give that a try, you will love it. I've said many a times I don't buy many supplements at the store. If I reach into my bag of goodies, one of the supplements I take every day for a long time is Seed Probiotic. The deal right now is 25% off your first month's supply. When you click my link down below, you talk about probiotics for adults and the kids version, which Rose takes. The problem with 98% of them at the store or online is they just don't work. They die in your tummy acids and they never make it all the way to your colon. Seed works and it works well. The adult one is a pill within a pill. So the only capsule that dissolves in your tummy is the outer capsule. And because it's made of pomegranates, it's high in fiber, prebiotic. And the inner capsule makes it to your colon to the, deliver 24 strains of bacteria that work for digestion, poop, skin, immune. But the kids one is amazing. For kids three to 17, it's a powder. And even though it's a powder, the bacteria are coated in a lipid, which survive the kids' tummy acids to make it to their colon to deliver nine strains of custom bacteria that are really good. Rose has been taking it now for over a year. When we skip or we go out of town and forget to bring it, we notice a difference. So if you're in the market for a really great probiotic for adults or kids, click my link down below. 25% off your first month supply, free shipping, flat rate shipping worldwide, and 30 days risk-free. Seed is the best, you'll love it. Finally, it's on sale. What do I always say about the keto based culture bread that I use every day? Load up when it's on sale. Cause the non-sale price is usually between 9.50 and 10.50, but $7 for the best keto bread on the market. Sourdough, I make sandwiches out of. The soft sandwich bread is lovely too. This morning before Rose went to school, I made her keto um, cinnamon raisin bread French toast using this. Why do I love it? Because most Keto breads, if you buy the ones at Costco or wherever, oftentimes have seed oils like um, soybean oil, and they have a lot of wheat, gluten, and uh, flour, and then back it out with the fiber. I don't like doing low carb that way. I like doing it this way. You see the ingredients here? Cashew flour, almond flour, flaxseed meal, which is high in fiber, non-GMO eggs, no grains, no seed oils. The only oil is coconut oil. This is how you do keto bread. And to get it for that price, let's do a comparison, right? 701 is still pricey for bread, but this is Ezekiel bread right here, which is one of the best sprouted grain breads, 679. So just a few cents cheaper. Uh, what's a really popular gluten-free bread? Here you go. Canyon Bakehouse, 879. So if you're interested in the best paleo gluten-free keto bread on the market, I would load up just like I'm going to do right now. 23% off Bobby approved cheese is nice, but hello, hello, new player in the sliced cheese. Wow, I've never seen organic raw sliced cheese. I'm gonna buy this because when we get home later on, we're making the viral chopped sandwich recipe and this will go in there. What's so cool about this? Number one, it's organic. So that means the cows have a non-GMO feed, but raw cheese in my opinion, is superior to regular cheese because it's not pasteurized at all. I think the law says to be raw and cheddar, it has to be aged about 10 months, but because it's not pasteurized with heat ever, there's more living nutrition in there and you don't really scorch the lactose, so it's easier to digest. But this stuff is so yummy and to get it for 5.73 for a pack, 
love that deal and it is back to school season i love string cheese back in my day we didn't have organic string cheese but to get organic this is even cheaper than the 365 price 650 organic non-gmo milk makes these uh string cheese a nice side effect of that too is there's seven grams of protein in here so if your kids have this in the lunchbox the protein combined with the natural fat in the dairy sustains their hunger awesome even more awesome making a chopped sandwich when we get home even more awesome i see some really good bobby approved snacks on sale that are actually perfect for back to school speaking of school rosie started school this week she's loving it if you've been following on instagram flav city stories i've been posting pictures of her lunchbox and this is in her lunchbox these are the bobby approved fruit roll-ups but they also make these fruit minis here why do i like them well before i show the ingredients i know a lot of parents will get something like this they'll see organic berry patch fruit snacks and think it's good for you the problem is and it really bothers me is that yes it's organic fruit but there's 10 grams of added sugar per serving they're coated in sunflower oil and there's natural flavors. 10 grams of added sugar is two and a half teaspoons and these are geared towards kids. So I'm really happy to see these. These are Bobby approved fruit roll-ups. If you see the ingredients, it's just fruit. Do I wish the fruit was organic? Yes, but there's no other added ingredients. There's no other added ingredients. And these, Soli, who makes the dehydrated fruit bars, now make gummies with just mango, just guava, just mango, no natural flavors. They're on sale. That's a win. This is a sweet deal on crispy seaweed. It's so funny because back in my day, in the 80s and 90s, we didn't have seaweed. And I think most kids thought it was gross. I think it's a great trend that a lot of kids are crunching on this stuff like crazy. Why? Because seaweed, incredibly nutrient dense and very high in iodine, which is fantastic for you, great for your thyroid and hard to find in food form. But one of these things is not like the other. Unfortunately, most seaweeds, if you look at the ingredients, are cooked in sunflower oil. Even though it has that star on there for organic, it's still a processed inflammatory oil. But just grab this one, avocado oil. We check, boom, avocado no, oil, no seed oils. They have other ones cooked in extra virgin olive oil. The flavored ones tend to have natural flavors, but Rose loves this. So many kids love this. Mom and dad like saving money too. Totally Bobby approved. All right, family, that is it for what's on sale at Whole Foods. We have until about, I think, mid next week and maybe slightly longer for most, but some really, really good items at rock bottom prices. Like I said in the beginning, if you know how to shop Whole Foods, especially on sale, you can get some really, really good deals that are cheaper than Aldi and Walmart. But from the grocery store, I leave you like I always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. Later.